branches. Let me address another issue straight on. I was accused in 1986 of failing to protect the voting rights of African Americans by presenting the Perry County case, the voter fraud case, and of condemning civil rights advocates and organizations and even har harboring, amazingly, sympathies for the KKK. These are damnably false charges. The voter fraud case my office prosecuted was in response to pleas from African American incumbent elected officials who claimed that the absentee ballot process uh, involved a situation in which ballots cast for them were stolen, altered, and cast for their opponents. The prosecution sought to protect the integrity of the ballot, not the block voting. It was a voting rights case. As to the KKK, I invited civil rights attorneys from Washington, D.C. to help us solve a very difficult investigation into the un unconscionable, horrendous death of a young African-American coming home from the 7-Eleven store at night simply because he was black. Uh, his M Michael Donald and actively backed the attorneys throughout the case, and they broke that case. That effort led to a guilty plea and a life sentence in court for one defendant and his testimony against the uh, other defendant. There was no federal death penalty at the time. I felt the de death penalty was appropriate in this case, and I pushed to have it tried in state court, which was done. That defendant was indeed convicted and sentenced to death. And 10 years later, ironically, as Alabama's attorney general, my staff participated in the defense of that verdict and sentence and a few months after I became United States uh, Senator, that murdering Klansman was indeed executed. Well, I abhor the and what it represents and its hateful ideology. Uh, I insisted uh, uh, Marsh Dees of the Southern Poverty Law Center and his lawsuit that led to the uh, successful uh, collapse of the Klan, at least in Alabama, the seizure of their building, at least for that period of time. As civil rights division attorneys have testified before the committee, I supported fully their historic cases that the Justice Department filed to advance civil rights and that I supported, including cases to desegregate schools, abolish at-large elections for cities, county commissions, and school boards. These at-large elections were mechanism used to block African-American candidates from being able to be elected to boards and commissions. It was a deliberate and part of a systemic plan to reduce the ability of African Americans to have influence in the election and governing process. I never declared the NAACP was un-American or that a civil rights attorney was a disgrace to his race. There is nothing I am more proud of than my 14 years of service in the Department of Justice. I love and venerate that great institution. I hold dear its highest ideals. As God gives me the ability, I will work every day to be worthy of the demands of this august office. You can be absolutely sure that I understand the immense responsibility I would have. I am not naive. I know the threat that our rising crime and addiction rates pose to the health and safety of our country. I know the threat of terrorism. I deeply understand the history of civil rights in our country and the horrendous impact that relentless and systemic discrimination and the denial of voting rights has had on our African-American brothers and sisters. I have witnessed it. We must continue to move forward and never back. I understand the demands for justice and fairness made by our LGBT community. I will ensure that the statutes protecting their civil rights and their safety are fully enforced. I understand the lifelong scars borne by women who are victims of assault and abuse. And if I am so fortunate to be confirmed as your Attorney General, you can know that I understand the absolute necessity that all my actions must fall within the bounds of the Constitution and the laws of the United States. While all humans must recognize the limits of their abilities, and I certainly do, 
I am ready for this job. We will do it right. Your input will be valued. Local law enforcement will be our partners. Many friends in federal government that I've had in law enforcement will be respected. I've always loved the law. It is the very foundation of this country. It is the exceptional foundation of America. I have an abiding commitment to pursuing and achieving justice and a record of doing that. <clears throat> and if confirmed, I will give all my efforts to this goal. I only ask that you do your duty as God gives you the ability to see that duty as you are charged by the Constitution. Thank you for your courtesies. I look